Hi everyone, I'm Priscilla Crawford, conservation biologist with the Oklahoma Biological Survey. I was lucky enough to be asked to tag along on a botanical field trip to the eastern side of Oklahoma to traipse around the woodlands of the Ozark Plateau looking for a rare plant. My friend and colleague Amy Butode invited me to join her as we looked for rare plants and visited some natural areas in this beautiful corner of Oklahoma. We spent three days in Cherokee County walking through the fields, scanning roadsides, and wading in wetlands looking for some rare species and meeting with landowners who are protecting them. And I, of course, got distracted by pollinators regularly. Our main objective was to document the population of royal catchfly, or Silene regia. This plant is a super showy bright red plant that blooms in late summer. It likes sunny glades and open woodlands. Look at it just like looking happy in the sun. This plant was probably never common in Oklahoma as we are on the western edge of its range. This map shows the states in which this species is found, but it's a bit deceptive, making you think that you can find it throughout all of these states. However, when you look at a map of the counties in which it's found, you can see that it's much less widespread throughout each state. If we look at a map from the Oklahoma Vascular Plants database, you can see that it's really only found in three counties in Oklahoma, Cherokee, Adair, and Delaware. Amy has been documenting this plant for years, and her plan for our trip was to visit known locations to see how the population is doing. That is a showy one for sure. And to look at some other locations of good habitat to see if we could find new locations. Our first stop was to check a population found on private property in the Holbert area. This landowner is very interested in conservation, and when he was made aware of this rare species on his property, he decided to protect the individual plants by caging them to protect them from deer herbivory. Most of the time this works, but flowers of this plant must have stuck out and deer nibble them off. Some of them are better protected, and we hope the flowers will produce seeds that will lead to more plants in their native habitat. We're also interested in collecting seeds for our Oklahoma Native Seed Library and pollinator conservation projects. This plant is easily grown in the garden and you can tell from the red tubular flowers, it's a great plant for hummingbirds. While Amy looks along the edge of the woods, I start looking at the bee balm and the germander, which is attracting a ton of pollinators. Boy, the flowers are big, too.
right here. Okay. The landowner has other things to do and lets us biologists roam around on our own looking for plants and pollinators. Here on this Menarda is a male Diana fritillary. You can tell because it's orange and brown while the female is actually black and purple. And another species of fritillary butts in the variegated fritillary. Here we have a typical view of an upland landscape for the Ozark Plateau. This spot was cleared for grazing and a few large shortleaf pines are still out in the open woodland. But even before clearing by European settlers, this area was probably maintained as an open woodland with fire by the people who occupied the plateau for the past several thousand years. An amazing blackberry patch. The landowner even gave us sacks to collect some. My clothes getting caught. Ow! Ow! Oh! Ah. Because our work is often in rural Oklahoma, finding a place to spend the night can be a challenge. We at the Biological Survey like to take advantage of our Oklahoma State Parks for our overnight stays. They give us a special rate because we're a state agency and we help them fill weekday nights, um, which typically don't fill up. Plus, we get to relax in the evenings and have this beautiful setting. On this trip, we stayed at Sequoia State Park on the shores of Fort Gibson Lake. The Nature Conservancy's Nickel Preserve, which is east of Tahlequah, protects over 17,000 acres of Ozark habitat and is the largest privately protected conservation area in the region. Amy has several locations of Silene Regia within the preserve that she wanted to check. Because the royal catchfly likes sunny open areas, the roadsides around the preserve are good places to look for this plant. Wow, what a mess. We were pleased to find flowering catchflies in most of the previous known locations and find a few new individuals along this road.
Since we were in the area, we decided to check on a few registered natural areas. The Oklahoma Natural Areas Registry is a program that I manage and it recognizes voluntary protection of rare species and habitats by private landowners. Here's even a sign marking this n registered natural area. Check out these liverworts on the pipe built out of the spring. This site, Lucky Springs, has a rare fish, has these amazing springs that flow into Spring Creek. Thanks for joining Amy and me as we explore the Oklahoma Ozarks documenting the biodiversity of our state.